Once upon a time, there was a poor boy named Aladdin, who lived with his mother. One day, a rich stranger came to their house, looking for Aladdin. I am a merchant, I have come all the way from Arabia. He told Aladdin's mother. I want to take your boy with me for a little work, but I will pay him so much that you will not be poor anymore. Aladdin's mother soon agreed, because they really needed the money. However, she did not know that the Arabian, who said he was a merchant was actually a magician. The next day, Aladdin packed his things and left with the merchant. They traveled for many hours, and the merchant stopped at a lonely spot. Aladdin was surprised, as there was nothing, or no one anywhere. The merchant took out some colored powder from his pocket. Then he threw it at the ground, and the next moment, there was smoke all around. As the smoke cleared away, Aladdin saw a big opening in the ground, like a cave. The merchant asked Aladdin, Go inside the cave. You will see lots of gold inside, more than you will ever see in your life. Take as much as you want. But one condition. You will see an old lamp, just get it out for me. Aladdin became suspicious. He entered the cave, and saw the cave is filled with full of gold. He filled up his pockets with gold, and stuffed in as much as he could. When he could take no more gold, he looked for the lamp and found it. He took the lamp, and called the merchant, to help him out. Give me the lamp first. The merchant said. Aladdin was afraid, that if he gave the lamp to the merchant, he would leave him there, so he asked the merchant, to pull him out first. The merchant got angry, and took out some more powder from his pocket, and he threw it at the cave. The opening of the cave became shut with a huge rock. Aladdin was scared. He waited inside and shouted for a long time, hoping that someone would come and help. Many hours passed, and no one came for help. As Aladdin was sitting alone, he started cleaning the lamp. Suddenly, a strange fog filled up the room and a voice said, My master, I am the genie of this lamp. What is your wish? It was a huge man who looked very strange, and Aladdin was afraid of him. But the genie assured him that, he would do as Aladdin asked him. Take me to my home, Aladdin said. The next instant, Aladdin was home with his mother. They hugged each other, and Aladdin told her, all about his adventure. Aladdin called the genie again. Now they were not afraid of him. He asked the genie for a palace, and soon they were living inside a beautiful palace, instead of their old hut. As people got to know about the rich Aladdin, he became more famous. His mother carried a big basket full of diamonds, which allowed her to enter the Sultan's palace, to get his daughters married to her son. With the help of Genie, they were able to establish themselves as wealthy, and were able to fulfill the demands of the Sultan. He was now married to the princess, and they were very happy. The magician too heard all about Aladdin, and he made a cunning plan, to get the magic lamp. He came to Aladdin's palace, pretending to be an old man, who exchanged old lamps and gave new. Magician summoned the genie, and said, I am your new master. Shift away Aladdin's palace far away from here to the desert. When Aladdin returned home, he could not find his palace, or his princess and mother. He was very worried, but then realized, it must be the work of the evil magician, who wanted to take revenge. Aladdin thought hard, and remembered that, he had a ring that the magician had given him, 
and that it could still help him. He rubbed the ring and another genie appeared. Take me to wherever my princess is. He commanded the genie. The next moment, Aladdin found himself in the desert in his palace. His princess was there, and he was glad to see she was safe. The evil magician was also there, and the magic lamp was placed on a table, next to the him. Before the magician could realize what was going on, Aladdin quickly jumped and grabbed the lamp. He quickly rubbed the lamp, the genie appeared. My master, I am so happy to serve you again. What is your wish for? Genie asked Aladdin. Aladdin looked at the magician and said, I want you to send this evil magician to a different place, from where he can never return again, or harm anyone. Whatever you wish for, my master, said the genie, and the evil magician disappeared, never to return again. The genie helped to transport Aladdin back to where his palace was. Then after, Aladdin lived happily with his princess wife and his mother. The genie was also there, along with Aladdin and his family, and they lived happily ever after. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please share and subscribe this channel for more interesting stories.